beautiful hot diggity dog dang dang it. It looks like Southern California will be getting some rain in the next 48 hours. So that is fascinating and congratulations. It's always a little fun to get wet and hopefully you guys will get some lightning and thunder. All right. And you will be getting snow and possibly ice through parts of here and then over here. Okie dokie. And then you got a little clipper busting through today in the northeast. Oh my gosh, golly. There was a 6.6 .6 earthquake in New Zealand, kind of, where the Tonga eruption happened. Just letting you know. Right now, the solar flux is 99 and there are five sunspots on the sun. But hey, solar cycle 25 predictions are jumping, jumping, and ready to party. Via Scott McIntosh and Keith Strong, the latest predictions for solar cycle 25 maximum have suddenly and dramatically increased to between 120 and 230. But that prediction seems to not take us to maximum, which will likely be in 2024 or beyond. And so that is good news because empires fall during solar minimums and empires rise or civilizations, whatever word you want to use, man, during solar maximums, especially strong ones. And look at this. How high will it get? I don't know. We'll have to stay alive and pay attention. Once again, I would like to remind everybody in Asteroid Fight Club. Oh, uh, phone problem. All right, let me try that again. I'd like to remind everybody in Go oh, damn. Sorry about that. Let's try that one more time. All right. I'd like to remind everybody in Astro Fight Club, do what you can to help avoid World War III. And we've done it for nine years. And so let's keep it up. Oh my gosh. Golly dang gee whiz. It was foggy this morning on the West Coast. Man, there are way too many fights and attacks going on for my tastes. Cyber attack reported on German wind turbines today. Oil just hit its highest price since 2011. And in my nine years plus of doing Thor News, I've told y'all that, like, basically the economy runs on high oil prices and war. And so hopefully, somehow, magically, one day we will get to a better economy that is based on peace and prosperity. But we're going we're gonna to need miracles to get there. There has been hellaciously bad and deadly flooding going on in Australia. Zoom Earth is saying Australia is bearing the brunt of relentless rainfall and widespread flooding. And so they have been definitely getting some nasty rain and floods on parts of the coast in Australia. Prayers up for y'all. And ladies and gentlemen, we are watching out for a super stormy. Oh, man. Oh, no, production value. What is happening? All right, I'm trying to say that we need to prepare for uh, a stormy period starting around the 5th through the 7th and lasting about 5 or 6 or 7 days. Here we're looking at severe weather potential for day 4 and day 5 out. And you can see that this one will be up yonder by the Great Lakes and this one will be down yonder by the Gulf Coast. But it kind of stays in the same track. So, our same area here. So, we will continue to track that shiz. All right, let us take a look at the very latest GFS. Starting on the second, you can see the tail end of that atmospheric river is coming into the upper Pacific Northwest. But then on the fifth and sixth, it starts to get stormy. That could be some definitely heavy rain for under the Great Lakes. And then watch this Florida and Southeast. That looks pretty nasty as well. It does look like the atmospheric river, I'm sorry, the atmospheric defense team is punching holes in that big storm, but, but definitely we will be watching out for some massive flooding happening around the 7th. Um, so you could, let's just track it in. So you get this, it's around the 5th is when you'll start to get snow up in like the four corners and shiz, and that is like a category one land cane moving over Iowa and South Dakota, North Dakota. Michigan, Minnesota, and then, so that looks like a pretty decent sized storm for all those people up there, and then, on the tail end of it, you get a bunch of flooded crap, and then, that'll move through, 
and then you get your next storm coming down around the 10th and 11th see that heavy rain for the south was hey look possibility for ice in texas again on march 11th and so that'll be so we got yeah interesting weather but notice how there's the big hole in it i still think the atmospheric defense team is doing a pretty decent job look at that they blew a hole in that thing that's my opinion and it seems like everybody's mild conspiracy theorists these days all right i like to have conspiracy theories where good guys are out there anyway this would be 974 millibar low okay so that would be really low and so that storm yeah like i said the 5th through the 12th we're definitely gonna be on high alert for some wild weather and so everybody stay cool all right let's take a good gander at europe now this model run isn't really that bad compared to the latest model runs i have seen oh man but it's still freaking weird and so it definitely seems like the weather will get wild and wacky between the 5th and the 12th, not only for the United States of America, but possibly for Europe as well. Other model runs have shown just wave after wave after wave. This has like that one just kind of woo, disappears. But this will still have some pretty decent storms coming into Europe on the same time frame. Now it's a matter of how bad will that be and how straight on like right there will it be. I don't know, but Europe is pretty wet. And so we will continue to pay attention. But it looks like, like I said, in four or five days, the pattern is going to really pick up and things could get kind of crazy. Hey, the cargo ship carrying thousands of luxury cars sinks after burning for weeks. Acting group NB65, affiliated with Anonymous, has shut down the control center for the Russian space agency Roscosmos. Russia has no more control over their own spy satellite. Washington did have flooding. Turn around, don't drown. This was 10 hours ago in Snoqualmie, uh, Washington. The Washingtonians are super tough. Uh, this, yeah, I mean, we all know the situation is very crazy. And technically, we are on the brink of really bad things happening. And so I hope everyone prays for peace and stays cool. Once again, Asteroid Fight Club does what they can to avoid World War III. I do not think World War III will happen, but I did drive four hours north to give my mama a hug, just in case it did. I'm in DFW right now. Semeru Volcano, East Java, Indonesia. Explosive activity continues. Supposedly BP, Shell, Shell, and um, now Italian oil giant Enli pulling out of Russia. Like, a lot of, I don't know. Russia is being severely isolated, but so far it does look like the Ukrainian resistance and logistics are causing nightmares that plague the Russian invader. All right. All right. Sorry for my audio problems. I will try and get a new microphone uh, cable to fix it. Shit. It's still going out. All right. Um, I'd like to thank Lori, Carmen, Darlene, Wizard Voz, Corey, Megan, Everybody cool. I missed last month's fundraiser goal by six hundred sixty-five dollars. That's okay. Let's try to kick some ass in March if we can. But I super duper thank y'all for always being incredibly awesome to me. All right, and we're now in the March fundraiser, and because Astro Fight Club is so awesome, I only have one thousand one hundred ninety-three dollars of seventeen hundred seventy-seven dollars left to raise. Um, if you'd like to contribute, I got a snail mail, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, and a Patron. And I got to say super duper absolute mega thank you to the Texas Angel, Alexis, Dan, Ann, Bruce, Patricia, Max, KJ, Brian, Marlita, Light Soul, Glenda, Barbara, Richard, Lauren, and everybody in Astro Fight Club. You guys are incredible and amazing. I hope y'all have a wonderful day, and I will talk to y'all in the near future. God bless everyone. Stay cool.